If your worksheet contains a lot of content, it can be difficult to find information quickly. Sorting is a common and useful feature of Excel, but filters can be used to narrow down the data in your worksheet, allowing you to view only the information that you want. In order for filtering to work correctly, your worksheet should contain a header row which is used to identify the name of each column. So for quick filtering, let's do this. Well, first I need to turn my filter on. And one thing that I do want to point out to you is let's take a look at where my active cell is right now. It's outside of my data range. So on my Home tab, under Sort and Filter, I'm going to click the drop-down arrow and choose Filter. Notice that I get an error. This can't be applied to the selected range because I didn't notice anything there. There's nothing there. So I click OK, and I'm just going to click somewhere within my data range. I do not have to pre-select the range. Just make sure your active cell is within the data range. Now I'm going to go back to Sort and Filter, click the drop-down arrow, and turn Filter on. Now this is why I wanted a header row, row in my data range, because notice that it puts these drop-down arrows into that row. So now I can filter any of these. So let's say that I want to see all the orders that were in the Colorado Territory. Now I could sort this list, but then I still have all the other territories in here. So what I'm going to do is apply a filter. Click the drop down arrow and I'm just going to click on select all and that will actually deselect all of them. And now I'm going to click on Colorado and then OK. Now notice that all I'm seeing is Colorado. All the other data is hidden, but only temporary. So if you look at our rows over here, jumps from 2 to 6, 6 to 10, that's because those rows are hidden. So your information is still there. Now look at our drop down arrow. It changed into a funnel. So now I can just see really quickly, oh, this column is sorted. You can apply multiple filters. So filters are cumulative, which means you can apply multiple filters to help you narrow down your results. So I've already filtered by my territory, Colorado, but let's say I only want to see the orders that took place in 2014. So I'm going to deselect 2016 and 2015, only have 2014. And this little plus symbol right here means I can expand. And maybe I wanted to just narrow this down to the month even. But I'm going to go ahead and keep the full year 2014 and click OK. So again, all of the data that I don't want to see is temporary, temporarily hidden. And this just allows me to see the data that I want to work with easier. Let's take this a step further. Maybe within this data, I only want to see the orders that are in Colorado from 2014, but where the amount was greater than $1,000. So I'm going to click my drop down arrow. I'm going to go to number filters and greater than is greater than, and I'm just going to plug in 1,000. Now again, all that information that I don't want to see has been hidden, so it's so much easier to look at my data now. And if I had tried to sort this, even if I had used multiple steps in sorting, it still would have looked a little bit confusing. But with the filter, all I'm seeing is the data that I want to work with. To clear a filter, there's a couple ways you could do this. If you're not quite done working with this data, you can just click the drop down arrow and click on select all to bring all that data back. But if you're done with the filtering, you can simply turn it off. So I'm going to go back to sort and filter, click on filter, and see how it brings back all those hidden rows. So my data is back and my filtering is turned off. Another nice thing about filtering is that I can actually filter by color. Let's say that I have a conditional formatting set that all order amounts over $1,000 have a fill color of red. And maybe that's all I want to see is just those. Now I could sort or filter for those, like in our last example, of those over $1,000. But let's say I, I want to sort by color because maybe as the spreadsheet grows, I'm going to use some multiple colors. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow for my filter and I'm going to filter by color. 
and I'm going to choose this color right here. And now I can see I'm only seeing what I had in red and not everything else. So go ahead and select everything again. So we can see we had a whole bunch in here that did not have a color. Okay, that is your quick tutorial on Excel filtering. Hope you enjoyed.